Ta waitiao o tataigüey. My name is Yesenia Lee Irahamatunai. Mabrika, sanako kakona datiuno nituno. Datoka Selena, Daka Taino, Guakia Taino Yahabo. And these are the six misconceptions of Taino people. Actually, sadly, no. Places like Thebes, Gaguanas, and other places our ancestors used to live in and are still buried there today, we have no rights over those lands. Because Tainos are not federally recognized, we constantly face a threat of our lands being sold to outside buyers and the lack of protection of cons and conservation of the Puerto Rican government. But there's hope because my tribe, Arayeka Yucayek, are trying to raise funds to buy lands. If you are Taino or an ally and would like to help, you can go donate to our GoFundMe or you can buy one of these cool shirts. Either way, the link is going to be down below. For centuries, the indigenous people of the Caribbean, known as the Tainos, were said to be extinct. This was a fact. These were words written down in the textbooks that we had studied. Growing up in the 90s and earlier, we were taught that Christopher Columbus and the Spanish killed off all the Native Americans after arriving in the Caribbean. My indigeneity was challenged quite often and it left me with this awful feeling of imposter syndrome. Um, there was a recent DNA study that came out by Juan Carlos Martinez Cruzato, who is a geneticist, and he had found that 61% 61, 61 of Puerto Ricans carry Native American DNA. What many people don't know is that Taino people are a mix of different tribes from Central and South America and other places. And just like any other indigenous group, we come in many shades. I personally struggle with the feeling of not feeling indigenous enough because my hair is curly. But my view on that changed recently when a native from a different tribe told me that he read a book from an indigenous author and that author used to braid his hair and then he used to let it go so his hair can be cur curly. Because he said that would remind him of the curves of a mountain. And he told me, you just happen to have a shortcut. So if you don't have any stereotypical features from uh, like native tribes, I want you to know that you are enough. So this question to me, it's a little bit laughable and it's absolutely bewildering that so many people out there don't know this. Um, all it takes is a quick Google search or a quick glance at a map to see that the Greater Antilles, which is one section of the Caribbean, is a part of America. So the Americas consist of North America, Central America, South America, and the Caribbeans. Many words our ancestors use, we still use today in the Caribbean. I'm currently working on learning my native language, and no, Spanish is not our native language. It is very easy to confuse the two, but in respect to our relatives, it is important to talk about the history as factual as possible. So the Taino population consisted of the Greater Antilles, which is the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. The Kalingango people, who were known as the Caribs by the conquistadors of the Lesser Antilles, consist of Dominica, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent, and uh, Guadalupe. They speak uh, Arawakan language, and the culture is unique in its own way. There are similarities and differences between the Tainos and the Kalingago people. It was even documented in Chanta's journal that the Carib women actually wore their hair very long, while the Tainos had cut their hair in thousands of different ways and wore paint on their bodies in diverse ways. As a Taino, if you feel you want to reconnect or you want to be part of a community, try enrolling in a tribe. The tribe I'm part of really feels like home. Maybe because we're all kind of cousins and related. <laughs> but I know they would love to have you. Comment below if you have any questions and let me know what topics you want me to cover next.